What is up my star people and welcome back to a brand new video and today I'm going to be talking about a quick story and before I get into it I want to share my beliefs on what demons are by the way if you hear background noise like a fan blowing in the background my bad for that but Anyways, I believe, I have this weird belief that demons can, in a way, in a way, be our teachers. Because with any entity, if they want to come into your life, they have to come in the form of your fear. So literally whatever you fear they will come in the form of that and try to bring you down but if you're aware of that you can use that fear to actually uplift it uplift you and ascend you into the higher realms and so yeah that's how that's one of my main beliefs about demons is you can use them to your advantage but don't I wouldn't recommend working with demons unless you really know who you are and you just have to be careful but for me personally I would say it's not worth the risk but if you know what you're doing then it's all good all right so back to the story so the story started out when I was in high school. I was 17, I think. I was either 16 or 17 at the time. And I lived in this apartment. And imagine, okay, so this couch that I'm sitting on, imagine the door is to the left of you and that door leads into a hallway straight down and there's the closet in front of you and there's this whole open space be at the end of your bed and so I I was laying down I was going to sleep and I don't know what happened but I just decided to get up and I noticed something was off right away, off right away because at first I noticed a a kind of ballerina thing. It it's one of those things where the ballerina spins around slowly in the box, and it was a huge one too. It was like probably as big as my arm so that big and so that was off because I never had anything like that in my room and the second thing I noticed was I noticed that this shadow or this small miniature being was running from the hallway it was running from the hallway into my room, across my room. And so I went there and the being suddenly grew taller and and it had me okay. First you know first uh, brain fart anyways basically it grabbed me by the did I have a shirt on? <laughs> I don't know if I had a shirt on at the time but it just grabbed me and picked me up against the wall and as it grew taller and taller the roof kind of like the, w the roof was kind of lucid, kind of like swaying back and forth as it was getting taller. And 
I wasn't scared at the time. Usually, if someone... Well, I think usually if someone experiences that, they would be scared or call for help or Jesus or something. But I wasn't scared, so... What I did was, as soon as we stopped, I looked the being in his eyes and I said that I wasn't afraid of you. And the being just looked at me for a second and I looked back at it and I was a little bit angry because this being, although now I'm grateful for the experience, but this being... At the time, I was thinking like, man, I astro rejected and this is the first thing that happens. A being just comes and messes up my whole experience. I could be flying by now. <laughs> and so, and so, yeah, I looked this being in its eyes and its eyes was dead red. Like, it was just completely red with kind of like a shadow being with red eyes and so after we basically death stared at each other for a minute it let me down and I saw my body and it was the being was standing next to my body and at first I was like wow like, this is the first time, it was the first time me, of me really looking at my body other than the mirror, you know? It's crazy. Well, it, it was an interesting experience. I can't really describe how it felt because there was a literal demon standing next to it. I thought... <laughs> I don't know, I was a little bit worried that it was going to do something, but no, he just went through the wall and outside. And as soon as he did that, that's when I woke up. And yeah, that was my experience. And looking back, honestly, as I recall memories from my childhood, I have... Okay, so one thing you need to learn about me is I'm a, uh, <laughs> I, I'm basically a horror movie junkie, and I watched a lot of horror movies as a kid that I wasn't even supposed to watch, and so I was just kind of used to it, you know, and I saw a lot of shadow beings growing up. And, and yeah, yeah, some, sometimes they will be standing in the bathroom in the dark and the door will be open and they'll literally be standing right by the light switch. And other times I would be half asleep and then I'll just look at the door. I will look at the kind of like the door and I would see a re literal reaper like well I don't know if he was the actual reaper but he had the form of the reaper and that's not even the weird thing for me the weird thing was I wasn't really scared at the time and what really scared me was these nightmares I get and these nightmares are not what you think so basically so basically my nightmares would be like let's say a snake or a frog or even a lizard I would be asleep in my bed and there would just be a lizard or at times there would be a snake crawling up my chest and I would wake up and freak out <laughs> and other times there would be I would just slowly open my eyes and I would see a frog just looking at me and I would freak out 
uh, same thing with Elizabeth as well, and those were more scarier to me than my actual quote-unquote nightmares. But I think they were more astral projections as a kid than nightmares because those memories were really more vivid than usual, so I wouldn't really call them nightmares. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and leave a like, comment, subscribe, and tell me what you think and see you in another version of the now. Later.